Okay, so the categorical imperative. The categorical imperative, my understanding, is just simply this. If lying is wrong, then lying is universally wrong as long it is wrong forever and always. Now, the the flaw in the argument, the flaw is really pretty obvious. Hey, do I look fat in these pants? Um, oh <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no, actually you don't. There, you see, simple as that. Is lying always morally wrong? No. Sometimes you lie to spare somebody's feeling. Sometimes you might lie to spare somebody's life or save a life. So no, lying is not necessarily always morally wrong. And it looks to me that that is the wrong approach to trying to find an objective moral standard. The right approach would be, for example, if there is such a thing as an objective moral standard, then there should be discernible and discoverable moral laws. Just like there are laws of logic. I believe they were discovered by Aristotle. And the laws of logic are laws. They are proofs of logic that are true in any and all situations. They are laws. Now, if there is such a thing as objective moral values, there should be objective moral laws that operate similar to the laws of logic. And I believe I've found one. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That strikes me as a moral law, forever and always true. Inarguably the morally correct response to any given situation you will find yourself in. That's what makes for an objective moral standard, for an objective moral standard of moral values. It is something that would be the morally correct action to take in any and all situations, regardless of what culture you come from, regardless of what your opinions may be on any given subject. And there seems to be one. Many people have pointed out that do unto others as you ha would have them do unto you is not unique to the Bible. It's, it, it appears in many different ethical and religious traditions. So now there should be more. There should be dis at least three, just like in logic, there should be at least three. There should be at least three discernible, discoverable moral laws. that are more the morally correct thing to do in any and all situations. So, in the future videos, I will try to find them. And I will look for them. Because from my estimation, they should exist. And that would be the right approach to to finding a methodology of objective moral values.